Good morning. It is day 81, and you can tell by my black attire here. I'm in my rain gear. And why might you ask am I in my rain gear? Well, obviously, it's raining. And it didn't just rain last night. No, 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 because we can't just have a regular rain. No, there's flood warnings everywhere. <sighs> Because, you know, why have a little rain when you can have a lot of rain? Now, it's not doing too bad right now, but the forecast is pretty much a steady, slowish rain <clears throat> all day. It's not going to let up. So, not only do I have my, my coat on, I'm wearing my snazzy rain pants. I don't usually wear my rain pants, but this morning it was, it was really stormy and whatnot. It actually doesn't look too bad, so I may end up taking them off later. But, uh, cause you know, I mean, it's like wearing a garbage bag and <laughs> you get really sweaty underneath it. But aside from that and our lovely foggy, misty day, um, which means no views of any kind, not that there really was going to be much, but there, there was some possibilities, but there's definitely not now. Um, the plan is to do 18 miles and get into Delaware Water Gap. So we'll officially be in Pennsylvania. So sorry, New Jersey. Sad to see you go. Your trails have actually been pretty good. Um, well, but uh, so that's the plan for today. And hopefully it won't rain and I'll just be wearing this extra layer for kicks. All right. So right now I'm actually on just quite a wide I think like an ATV trail that won't last either but the elevation isn't great today so meaning that it's good in the sense that I won't be doing a lot of elevation not that I really have been New Jersey's kind of flat ish uh, relatively speaking of course so little ups and downs about again the 300 feet range which I can certainly handle um, I have no doubt in my mind that today will be a wet foot day, a wet everything day, but we'll take it as we come. I'll try to do some filming, but if it's too soggy, I've got my plastic bag for the camera, so we'll see how often that comes out. All right, let's get going. Just to show you what I'm starting on, like I said, this won't last. I'm sure I'll be turning into a trail fairly soon, but right now... I have this nice big wide trail, although I have to find another marker because I don't trust that it's already turned off on me I'm missing something. But let's try not to get lost. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, so we're just walking through the power line section. We're about three and a half miles in today. And it's still, as you can see, staying pretty foggy. Um, it's not raining, so that's nice. I mean, the ground and all the foliage are very wet, so the feet definitely are soaked and stewing in their nastiness but at least it's only for the 18 miles so we've already gone you know, I said three and a half and it's been a good day so far we're just gonna continue on although one thing I must admit I do like about the rain and I do try to be positive about it 
is that all the salamanders come out and they're just, I don't know, I just get such a kick out of the little guys. They're so cute. And they just kind of hang out and chill there. And that's pretty much all they do. I don't know what else they do. I don't even know if they're salamanders or they're newts. I will probably have to look that up sometime. But we're going on a bit of a down and that's pretty much what today is. A little down, a little up in the trees in the mist. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so we're just about to go up to uh, Catfish Fire Tower. Uh, so it's up at, obviously at the top of the hill because that's where fire towers belong. But you can definitely tell we're getting closer to Pennsylvania because what I've been told is Pennsylvania is all these rocks and more. So I guess we'll find out soon enough, but uh, we've been getting more and more of these. So I had a feeling this is what's to come. All right, let's get to the top of something I cannot see. These trails are still pretty wet today. They've been, uh, you can see the water still running down on them. Because it rained a lot last night. But, uh, like I said, the rain's still kind of holding off it still dripping from the trees so when it gets windy you kind of feel like you're in the rain again <laughs> but right now we're okay and we'll just keep going on up okay so we've made it to catfish fire tower so I'm pretty much like all the fire towers up here they're supposed to be closed off to the public but you actually can climb up there. And if there were a view, I would probably do that. But there's no view. So instead, I'm just gonna sit at the picnic table, have a snack, and keep on going. Hi. Came across the corner and this little guy is just, hasn't moved. <laughs> I'm going to have to come that way. Okay, that deer that just kind of stood there for a bit. Really? I mean, he was weary of me for sure, but kind of hopped across the, the trail, had himself a big juicy mushroom, and really wanted to eat it, so he ate it. I didn't move, so he just sat there and ate it, and then decided, okay, and then he hopped back across the trail and back up the hill. He didn't seem overly concerned, but definitely cautious, as all wild animals should be. But, uh, yeah, it was just kind of nice to sit there. I think we stared at each other for a couple of minutes. Well, he's, he's, or she sussed me out and realized I was no longer, a, or I wasn't a threat. And I didn't move or anything, so I just let him have his mushroom. All right, okay, so the Appalachian Trail uh, Mohican Center has all this good stuff that you can do. They also have lunches and hiking essentials, hmm. all that fun stuff. Um, don't really need any of it right now, but it is looking tasty. But I'm going to just kind of continue on 
This is our Delaware Water Gap, this area we've been running through the whole time, and that's where we're headed. Well, if we had a view today, apparently we would have a lovely view of Mount Tammany, but um, yeah, I think the only thing we might see are maybe zombies coming out of there or something. I don't know. Kind of what it looks like more than anything. So no view here, but we're about uh, eight and a half miles in, so we're just going to keep on going and finish this 18 mile day. Okay. Okay, we are at Raccoon Ridge, it's about 15, 1600 feet. And I'm sure it would be a great place to see something, but we're still seeing nothing. We got this big car in here, but other than that, that's it. So let's keep going. This is Sunfish Lake. This is a lake that is protected. You can't swim in it. You can't fish in it. You can't do anything in it. You can't camp by it. I guess there's certain fish that only live in this lake. But uh, the fog is starting to clear and we're starting to get a little bit of sun. All right, so we've got about four and a half miles left to go and we're gonna get going. Good morning. Got some fun birds out this morning. Um, it's day 82. We are at Delaware Water Gap, heading towards Wind, Wind River and Gap on Wind something. And not just the wind from my butt. But, <laughs> um, we're doing 15 point something miles today. It is a little foggy right now. It's gonna be a muggy hot day today in the 30s Celsius. So definitely the high 80s with that mugginess, sticky feeling. But we don't have a lot of elevation today, which is nice. Um, we do in the beginning and the end, but short of that, it looks, it looks fairly, flat. I mean, I always consider that a misnomer because it's never flat, but uh, it gives me the uh, false sense of happiness that maybe it is. But we are officially in Pennsylvania, so the Rocksylvania, I've been told, does not disappoint. Does it live up to its hype? I mean, so far it has, but we were in Pennsylvania. We only just got here, so um, I guess we're going to find out, but it should be a good day for hiking, and then we're going to meet our tramley back in Delaware Gap at the hotel tonight to do some laundry, because I have run out of everything. Uh, you can only wear things inside out and outside in so many times, and I'm sure I'm real stinky, especially with that rain the other day. Everything was soaked. It did dry a bit last night. Oops. Um, where it actually 
got sunny out around dinner time. So I was pretty happy about that. But anyway, let's get started with our day. And it looks like we get a pond right off from the beginning. So no shocker where all these mosquitoes are coming from. I've already got uh, my bug spray on because I'm just not playing that game. My bug net, honestly, has been one of the most used, best pieces of equipment. I know a lot of people bring a bug net and they're like, yeah, yeah, we never use ours. Oh yeah, mine gets used all the time. It is well worth taking a bug net. It weighs nothing and it's the best piece of gear you can have for your sanity, mental health. All right, I will give you a show of oh, this swampy little creek. So this is my little lily pond. And you know that is a healthy, healthy breeding ground for mosquitoes. But I'm not going there. Apparently this is a huge watershed area for this area. Uh, that was one of the signs back there. And I spot the trail marker over here. So we have this nice wide trail to start on. It won't stay that way, but I'll take what I can. Alrighty. Let's get cracking. Oh, hang on. We'll show you this before we turn off the camera. Got a little, little waterfall down there. Thank you. All right, let's get started. Okay, so just to give you the lovely view of my trail this morning in Pennsylvania is the interstate. <laughs> No chirping birds here, just the interstate. I guess I got the chirping birds in the beginning. Hopefully I'll get some more, but I've been told that's pretty common in Pennsylvania is to have the highways on either side. So we'll see if that actually is a common theme. The rocks are starting, but not too bad. The mosquitoes are definitely out, so I'm really glad I put the bug spray on. Unfortunately, right now the rocks aren't sharp like, but these, this kind of rock here is slippery and it's pretty uh, damp out right now because of all the the rain we've had and it's just there's a lot of humidity in the air so those rocks are not friendly all right but enough of that we're going to continue to go and enjoy our hiking Okay, so this is typical AT. I have a turn right up the hill direction, which I will do. It's supposed to be a lookout of Delaware Gap. And then I have this trail that go down here. Now it's not marked, so I don't know whether it just meets back up with this one or not. I'm gonna guess it's going to because that's how the AT runs. If you can take the harder trail, the AT will follow it. Not always the case, and I don't wish to get lost first thing in the morning because I'm already sweating like a bad man here. Oh, it, it's gonna be engaged sauna weather today. But I bet you those trails will match up again. So, we will go to the lookout because that's where the blazes are. Okay, now, I just came out of there, and there's this other trail here. Now, suspiciously, I think that is that other one that wasn't marked. I could be wrong. It could be a whole different trail, and maybe I did take the right trail. But it's just suspicious that it comes out of nowhere, where the other one kind of went into nowhere, and they, I don't know. It was probably an easier trail, because that was a good, I'd say, I think it was about... 700 feet up and it was pretty steep um, I'm sweating like I think I mentioned earlier a lot so today is going to be clean out all the pores day because I'm gonna just be a little dehydrated husk at the end of these 15 miles I think I have lots of water um, I know this stretch 
doesn't have any real good water sources. There's supposed to be a spigot about, uh, I don't know, around mile 10 or something, I think, at a tent site. But last I saw on the app, it was uh, broken. So I don't know if that's the case. And you have to walk, I think, 0.2 miles in because it's a tent site. So I won't be doing that. I just came prepared with extra water. And I'm only doing a 15. So if I end up at the trailhead dry, it doesn't matter. I'll have water there waiting for me. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that a little bit with you. So I got to go up another, I think, 100, 150 feet, and then we'll hit the peak and have another view. Okay, so this is my view up here. It's actually a really nice view of the sky today. You can see the clouds slowly burning off there. I just ran past another Sobo with a teeny tiny pack named Wheels. He started July 14th and he's passing me. He didn't look like an overly young, young fella but he had gumption in his feet, my goodness. So well done, Wheels. I got a feeling I won't see you again because you're just gonna motor past me so fast. I just, I can't move that fast and I'm not gonna and I'm enjoying my trail and taking pictures and bringing you on with me. So I'll be slow, I'm low gear. That's what I'm supposed to do and I'm enjoying it. So that at the end of the day is what it's about. I still need to get there in time, but I will. Well, hi little guy. I don't think you're impressed with me. This is the first turtle I've seen though. Okay, so this is my view. Apparently this is Delaware Valley. And the black flies are out and forest as usual. Heaven forbid, but the sun's peeking out and the clouds are kind of lifting. This looks like a pipeline we were walking on earlier. I bet you it parallels the trail, but they push the trail into the bush so we don't get a nice run, we get a nice buggy run. But that's all right, that's what bug nuts are for. Because they're not bitey, they're just swarmy. All right, let's continue. Okay, so this is a better view of the Delaware Valley. Um, that radio tower right there, that's kind of, that ridge line is what we've been actually walking on. And we continue to snake along it, and that's the valley down there. And I'm sure we'll end up down there sooner or later, but that's it for now, and it's getting sunny and warm, and it's actually a really nice temperature right now, but it's gonna get hot fast. All right, let's continue. Okay, so this is the view of Delaware Valley behind me. We're at about 1,500-ish feet in elevation. And I, I'm not sure what mile I'm at. Six, maybe. Six and a bit. Anyway, it uh, seems like quite a popular little place to hang out. And I'm not sure if way back there those are, if you can see it. A nuclear power plant back there. But anyway, it's a pretty view. I had a little snack here and now I'm off to continue on.
Okay, so I'm going to be taking the bypass. Normally I wouldn't take the bypass. Um, this bypass is usually recommended if there's like rain and those rocks that I'm about, that I would have gone over, wolf rocks, which is supposed to be a very pretty sight. Um, but if those rocks are wet, they can be pretty slippery and can get pretty dangerous because they're big scrambles and, and whatnot. To be fair, those rocks are still wet, even though the sun's out. There's a lot of humidity in the air and it was really wet this morning, so they probably are still wet. But the other reasons I'm bypassing them is because I passed by a few uh, day hikers with their puppy dog, who was very, very cute. Uh, had mentioned they'd heard there was a rattlesnake up there. Um, they did the bypass too because of that. Now snakes are known to be up in that area because they like to sun themselves on the rocks. I get that. But also because in the app they mentioned there is a very active hornet's nest up there and I've already been stung once. And I'll show you my reaction. So that was my sting that I got a couple of days ago, I think four days now. Um, it's actually quite good now. It's not even itchy, but it takes me a good couple of days just to get it to that point, and it'll probably take another week before it disappears entirely. So, lest I encounter any more hornets, I'd like to avoid them. So we are taking this very lovely bypass route, and quite frankly, I don't mind. This is a beautiful forest. The trail is gorgeous. It's not as humid in here because we're covered by all the shady leaves. Um, the bugs are particularly uh, troublesome in here, but you know, bug net and problem solved. So that being said, it's only a one mile around. So it doesn't really take anything off. In fact, it might even add a little bit. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but they're pretty comparable. So um, any blue blaze is still considered uh, hiking the AT. So it's not an official white blaze, but there are many blue blazes that I've taken, particularly around like high water crossings or wet weather detours. And this is one of those. So I'm going to enjoy my wolf bypass and I'm sure the view up there would have been gorgeous but not today. Okay, we're certainly running on a lot more of this. So this is what, at least so far, that I've encountered about Roxylvania. I know there's an area that's really quite challenging. It's called the Shark's Tooth. This, this isn't it. I'm not sure when I'll get to that, but I'll let you know. But yeah, so this is the kind of stuff that you got to go over and you can't really go over quickly. I mean, this isn't too bad, but when it gets bigger and it's going to get bigger, it, uh, you just have to be a lot more careful about where you put your feet because these rocks are not solid in place. They move. So it's going to be a test of agility, Pennsylvania. You versus my ankles. Bring it on. The trails 